This is my 1977 Gibson RD Standard. And this is my 1977 Gibson RD Artist. Now there were three trim levels, Artist, Custom, and Standard. And being 45 year old guitars, these have tons and tons of mojo. And they're not super rare. I mean, you do see them on the used market. However, it's thought that less than 2000 of them were originally made from their initial run from 1977 to really late 1980, 1981, when they were still trying to sell through some of the 1980 models. Now, this is where my issue with Gibson upper management really takes hold because starting in 2007 for their Guitar of the Week series, the Gibson RD was reissued for the first time. And it wasn't quite what us RD fans hoped they would be. They were a short scale length. They were, you know, the input jack wasn't cracked and, you know, they were generally coming in finishes that the original RD never, never came in. The original RDs had a full 25 and a half inch scale, which is pretty unusual. It's not the only guitar in Gibson's lineup to have a full 25 and a half inch scale. However, um, it is one of the few that have had a 25 and a half inch scale. And every time these are reissued, they come with 24 and three quarters. And generally the jack is side mounted instead of top mounted like the original. And they're gonna have some weird pickups, but you know what? Maybe they'll reissue it again, we say to ourselves. That comes in 2014 for Gibson's 120th anniversary RD reissue. And what we get is a monstrosity. We get some weird looking guitar that's again, short scale, weird pickups in a finish that the RD never came in. It's as if someone at Gibson is thinking, you know what? I could make this special this time just to put it on their PowerPoint or something. I don't know. I don't know how Gibson works. But once again, us RD fans are left to wonder, I wonder if they'll ever actually reissue you know, a proper Gibson RD. Then there was a little bit of hope with the reissue of Chris Novoselic of Nirvana fame, reissue RD bass. Now his RD bass, now while not an exact copy of his original 70s RD artist bass, it's pretty close. It comes with Seymour Duncan pickups and it looks, it's, it's an RD, which got us all thinking, man, I wonder if they're gonna, you know, do a legit guitar reissue of the RD. And we did get another RD reissue in 2018. Again, with the short scale, weird active pickups that no one asked for in way more money than it cost to buy an actual used one from the 70s. Now I get it, there's more priority in reissuing the important guitars like the Reverse Flying V, the Modern, and the United States of America guitar. I'm sure those have much more, uh, much more fan base than, than the RD. <laughs> so then it occurred to me, well, what about the made to measure? What about a true custom shop build of an RD? Could I get that? Should my wallet desire it? No, I can't even order a Gibson RD in a 25 and a half inch scale. I can't order a Gibson RD. It is not available to even order through the custom shop. Now, I'm sure if I messaged Cesar and was like, hey, I have $25,000 to throw at you guys. Can I get an RD? I'm sure the answer would be yes. However, if I walked into any Gibson dealer and they looked on their sheet of available models to order from the custom shop, the RD is not on there. These RDs are some of my favorite guitars I have ever played or owned. I cherish them and I would love to see a new proper reissue of them with the full length, I'm not even asking for the weird Moog electronics that originally came in the artist. What about just the standard with the regular Les Paul style electronics and control configuration? That would be so awesome. All maple body, all maple neck. It would be phenomenal. That would be a very, very popular guitar and something that I think a lot of us would love to see from Gibson Guitars. That's my rant. I've been Fluff. You've been wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.